Greetings Daisies, today I am doing a lymph check video. Okay, so there's a lot of new changes with my hair. Well, just one. I finally did highlights. This is something I've been wanting to do for forever, but it took a minute to just like get the confidence and like get over my fear of dyeing my hair because you read all like, oh, it's gonna change your hair texture. It's chemicals, blah, blah, blah. But like, I know how to take care of my hair. And it's my hair, I like, why be in fear when you just wanna put some color in your hair? So I'm just gonna do it. And I did it, and I am loving it. Um, so yeah, my hair's straight too. I did a silk press as well. And so it's a perfect time to do a length check. Um, my last one was December 2017, so I'm, way overdue for putting out a length check video. Well, let's get started. I'm gonna do left side, right side, middle, and the back. Okay, okay, so it's a little below my collarbone. Okay, so right on my scalp. Ooh, come on now, let's get the accuracy. Ooh, Lord. Okay, so about 12 inches. Well, actually before I got my silk press, I knew my length wasn't where I wanted it to be after like two years after doing a silk press. I knew that my hair was like right here when I did my silk press 2017, right? And so when I would like do trims about every three or four months, I could pull my hair down and see that. I'm like, hmm, I'm only a couple inches below the collarbone. So personally, I do feel like I'm behind as far as length retention. Cause I'm like, I know my hair is growing. It's just not necessarily where I want it to be two years after my first silk press, which was like right here. And in two years, I'm only this much in. I'm like, not necessarily reaching that <laughs> length retention goal. So I'll talk about some things I'm gonna try to like see some more length. Uh, one thing I do like, oh, I'm sorry, Spencer, is the thickness of my hair. That is something, that's another way my hair has grown. So even though it hasn't, well, it has grown, uh, your hair does grow. It's just length retention, which is crazy because I feel like I'm the type of natural that does the most <laughs> when it comes to natural hair. Um, so I was like surprised to see my hair didn't retain all the length, which is so annoying. Spencer, okay. Where is it? Okay. Okay. What is this? 13 and a half. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's definitely one thing I noticed um, is the thickness is just like, it's very thick, very strong. The only thing that I've had trouble with is the ends. Cause I'm like, oh, my hair should definitely, my goal was like to be like under the bra right here, like under right here, but it's not. Um, and the stylist, my stylist was like, yeah, your ends seem to have a lot of issues. Um, but after my silk press in 2017, I was following the you know recommendations and what I thought my hair needed as far as getting trims every three months or every four months. Now, one thing might be the scissors that I used. They may not be sharp anymore because I've had them for like two years. So that could be one, um, but I honestly felt like I'm doing everything I can. So it can be frustrating. Like, why isn't my hair longer as long as I want it to be after being natural for a total of I started transitioning five years ago, so I'm like, okay, my hair should definitely be way slim. Um, so it's just like, okay, I literally, my routine right now is like, okay, I have my I deep condition every week, leave it on for like an hour or whatever, um, you know, do the lock method, leave in um, oil, cream, or the other way around. And then every day I do a variety of putting in a leave in, uh, shea butter, and then some oil. The next day, maybe I'll just do leave in and oil but I'm always stimulating my scalp by rubbing it and I'll always apply a thick Jamaican black castor oil or type of sealant to my ends every single day. And so it's just like, what? How are my ends still like breaking off that quick? Like how do I still have split ends? Like no tomorrow. It's literally the most annoying thing in the whole world. So one thing I'm gonna do is try rice water. We'll see if that helps me, um, my hair to be stronger, especially at the ends, which for some reason, it's just still having issues. My ends are so, so frail. And we'll just see what happens. You know, I can't beat myself up over all this because at the end of the day, it really is just hair. 
and my hair is healthy and it's thick. And so health over length for sure. You know, I wouldn't want to have long hair and it's all thin and straggly. Okay, where's my ending? Okay, ooh, I'm gonna take my own hair out. Okay, we're at nine and a half for the middle. Mmm, my front's pretty long, it seems. I'm at 12 inches at the front. Okay, so it's right at, I don't know what this is. Armpit length, yeah. Okay, so we're at 11 inches for the back. That's the right side. Why not just do the left side? It's about a little bit over 10 inches. Well, good to have some documentation going on. Um, in about a month, I'm gonna come back and see if the rice water challenge made my hair grow or retain any sort of more length than normal. And I hope to do this more often because it's definitely been like a year and a half since the last one. But anyway, I hope everyone enjoys their springtime and check out more of my videos. I'm gonna try to do some more hair care ones. And yeah, my Cuban video just launched like a couple weeks ago, part one and part two. So check those both out. Don't forget to follow me on social media, yes. <laughs> as well as my blog, I have two of them now, so daybyday.com, as well as froandtravel.com, that's more centered towards um, travel related topics. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to take it step by step and day by day.